Hi, welcome to lecture 3 of Ultimate Python course. So, in this video, we are going to see the difference between C++ and Python. Why C++ and Python is because C++ is a compiled language and Python has both compiler as well as interpreter. Therefore, there will be certain differences which you have to be careful. The intention of this video is not to teach complete C++. I will make a separate course on C++ where I will talk about C++ syntax and everything. Here we will just see simple examples and see what is the difference. Okay. So first thing is I will write a small Python program. See, don't write the notes. I'm going to share you with you the lecture slides and the notes. They will be available in the description shortly. You can check them. Okay. You can't write the notes for uh, for 100 hours so that is impossible don't write the notes okay so this is the program which i will share with you in these slides so in this program i have three print statements one is printing try program is dot pro other is printing the value of c where the value of c is actually 14 because a is 10 b is 4 therefore c is 14 and the last statement is print try anything right now, if you execute this program, you are going to see output in three lines, one, two, three lines. So one good thing about print is that it will print the output in a new line all the time. That is why you are seeing three different lines, not all in one line. Now, if I do the same thing in C++, the same program, instead of in C++, there is no print. You have to write std colon colon C out. You have to write std colon colon C out in C++. Okay. So I have the same program. Now, if you see Python is looking much simpler compared to C++. C++ is syntax heavy. Now you have to import some library. This line is not there in Python. Right. And then you have to have int int int. So you have to declare the type of the variable, whether it is int or float or anything. Right. And also there should be semicolon at the end of every line. But if you look at Python, there are no semicolons. That is why for beginners, Python is very easy to learn because it is not syntax heavy. It is very simple to write. Okay. Okay. So now if you execute it, it is going to print three lines. Here it is going to print one line. Here it is going to print one line. Here it is going to print one line. But then surprisingly, C++ needs a new line character to go to the new line all these three will be printed in the same line okay if you see this all the three c outs are printed in the same line okay so what is the difference between c++ and python in c++ you have to give new line in python you don't have to give new line for print okay now how does the compiler work so in c++ what happens is in c++ it will take the entire program compiler will take the entire program and it will convert it into machine language .exe file and you can execute the machine language by writing dot slash p dot exe right some file name let us assume that the file name is p dot exe the executable file you can type dot slash p dot exe okay so what does the compiler do so in i will do a compiler course in detail there I will explain you what are the phases of compilation, but then these are the phases pre-processing, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, code optimization, code generation, everything will be done by compiler, right? So once the compilation is over, you are going to see the output, okay? So how does the interpretation work? So initially, Python program will be given to the compiler because Python is both compiled as well as interpreted, right? So Python will be given to the compiler. And the compiler will uh, generate a file with the extension .pyc, which is nothing but the bytecode. Okay, .pyc contains the bytecode. .pyc contains the bytecode. Now, interpreter will take this bytecode and it will execute it line by line. Interpreter will take the bytecode and execute it line by line. Okay, so because of the bytecode, the execution will be very fast. So, what happens in Python is Whenever you have a program, first it will be given by given to compiler. Now the compiler is going to generate a .pyc file and this .pyc file will be in the folder underscore underscore pycache underscore underscore. In this folder that pyc file will be present. Now if you give it to the interpreter, if you give it to the interpreter, 
it will execute the program line by line and you will see the output okay now what is what happens in case of errors is if you look at this c plus plus let us say we are taking the same program i will give you these slides that if it is not clear here clearly visible here in these slides it will be visible so what i mean to say is if i make any mistake any error in one of the lines in c plus plus for example here instead of c out i have written c u t i have missed out o which is a mistake now what will happen is it will not compile at all no machine language code will be generated it will just simply give you an error right so it is <coughs> it is giving you <coughs> it is giving you an error right it is simply giving you an error nothing will get executed but then in python it is different for example let us say at this line there is an error instead of print i have written prnt now this line will get executed and you will see the output here and then this line will get executed this line will get executed this line will get executed and this line will get executed and you will see the output here now after this seventh line after the seventh line execution will stop because of the error that is the main difference between interpreted languages and compiled languages in compiled languages the program will not at all start if there is a error in interpreted languages the program will in interpreted languages the program will start and execute till the point where there is a error that is the main difference okay so if you try one more example right let us say there is an error in the last line then all these lines will get executed without any problem all these three print statement got executed without any problem but only last line didn't get executed right so this is the difference between c++ and python i hope that you understood what is interpretation what is compilation okay so please do subscribe to this channel tell your friends that i am doing many free courses in the channel please take this channel further i want to hit 1 million subscribers please do help me subscribe and also tell your friends to subscribe we are close to 1 million we have to hit 1 million this is your channel okay thank you hi everyone i hope you have liked our youtube videos which are given for free most of our courses for free but there are some paid courses as well if you want to know about our paid courses please go to the website ravindrababuravla.in there you can see the list of all the paid courses available like gate cs gate da if you are interested in preparing for gate ds gate cs da in order to join iits then definitely our courses will help you even if your plan is not to do masters doing gate cs will help you will help you get into product based companies and doing gate da will help you become data scientists and ml engineers okay and coming to the study abroad so now if you are in a dilemma whether you want to uh, go abroad or whether you want to study gate uh, study prepare for gate and uh, write for the exam please do whatsapp us on the number shown in the website okay you can whatsapp us on this number and there is study abroad program as well you can go and learn more about it right so either you want to go for ms or uh, either you want to go for mtech or you want to join a software industry in a product based company we have all the courses required on our website and all these courses are amazing courses you will definitely love it if you are loving the youtube courses okay thank you